Since the end of the shuttle flights, Europe's automated transfer vehicle, ATV, is not just the largest space ferry to the International Space Station, it is also today the world's heavier spacecraft, now embarking on its third mission. Since its arrival in Kourou last August, ATV-3 has been loaded with dry cargo, gases and fuels. Before the two sections of the spacecraft were mated, the integrated cargo carrier module was packed brim full. About a hundred bags were securely fitted into its eight supply racks, two more than on the first two missions. Each item barcoded for easy identification during unloading was optimally placed to distribute the mass in the carrier section. The ATV-3 manifest includes fresh food, clothing, supplies, spare parts, experiments and memorabilia in honour of Eduardo Amaldi, the visionary Italian physicist, including a letter that he wrote in the late 50s to a colleague in which he envisaged uniting Europe's space efforts. Last January, the fully assembled spacecraft saw a series of delicate fueling operations. This included some 5,400 kilograms of fuel to control the attitude of the International Space Station and to reboost it higher, plus 860 kilograms of fuel that will be transferred to the Russian segment of the orbital complex. 100 kilograms of gas, air and oxygen were also pumped into ATV-3's reservoirs and 280 liters of drinking water. But loading was not complete the ATV's late loading possibility has been greatly improved, doubling the amount of supplies that are lowered only a few days before launch into the freighter's pressurized cabin through the craft's forward hatch and docking port. Until now, this was limited to items with a maximum mass of 30 kilos, but special equipment and procedures have been developed to allow an item of about 60 kilograms to be inserted a NASA water recycling unit required aboard the space station. Since the stock of potable water on the ISS is not infinite and they need either to bring new potable water, which the TV is doing by the way also in parallel, but also to be able to reuse, to recycle the wastes which are generated in orbit. And this is just the normal life aboard the space station. In all, about 60 bags, some 530 kilos of last-minute items were loaded, once again proving the ATV's capacities and versatility as a space freighter when the amount of cargo of all kinds is totted up. The Eduardo Amaldi will be carrying another record-breaking amount of supplies, nearly seven tons to the ISS.